What's up everybody? I'm just out here doing some striped bass fishing on the pier again. Uh, holdover bite's been pretty great lately, so I'm just kind of riding out this bite as long as possible. Um, I just exploded uh, my Pen Slammer 4. Very unexpected. I think the maybe it was like a manufacturing CNC issue, but I just got my Pen Clash uh, 4000 back from Pen from uh, another service. I broke one of those, so... Might be just being too hard on my gear or something, but uh, definitely is no uh, complaints about, you know, pen, you know, or pure fishing or anything. I really love them. Um, but uh, yeah, they just exploded a reel tonight, but uh, hope you enjoy this footage. It was a pretty good night of fishing. I got on one really nice holdover at the end there. And uh, yeah, a lot of fish and just a casual blog and I, or vlog, and I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Wow. You put them back. Yeah, it's catch and release until April 15th. They're stacked up right in front of me right now. Fishing all purple. Kind of spoke too soon about this slammer. I, I cracked it about an hour ago. It's kind of a bummer. I really wanted to have high hopes for it, but yeah, the, the, uh, I'll take a photo of it, but it cracked like an hour ago, just randomly. I'm sure they'll warranty it. It's kind of good timing because, uh, I just got my Clash 4000 back from Penn. I had to get that service because I broke that. Um, but yeah, I've been having kind of bad luck with reels for some reason. They don't seem to care about the ferry. Usually they care about the ferry. Like they just won't bite. But they don't seem to care tonight. It's kind of interesting. There we go. Dang, they're hitting it. Like in this one spot. It's really interesting. This one's pretty good. This is a pretty good one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Honestly, wasn't expecting, this is not a great tide. I wasn't expecting to be getting on the fish, but they're here. So might as well make a video. Got here like two hours ago, but I knew they weren't gonna start biting for, till right about now and the tide turned. Sorry for all the, the night footage, but uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely a night bite for sure. There we go, fish on. Definitely a night bite for sure. But what is this, five now? It's pretty good. They definitely seem to be getting smaller is the only problem. This, this bite seems to be getting smaller and smaller. Lay him right here on this ledge. Try not to piss him off too much. Try not to tick him off too much. Sorry for the swearing. I have to edit around my videos a lot because I tend to swear a lot. It's a bad habit. But yeah, I'm just using straight purple tonight. Yeah, you can see no sea lice or anything. These are Hold over striped bass for sure. So yeah, I mean, they're on every pier, every piling. Just gotta know how to catch them. There's definitely a particular technique here. And I'm fishing a little bit of a heavier jig tonight. The 
the uh, tide is starting to run a little harder. We got this full moon approaching. Um, oh, there's a bite. So I had to up my jig size a little bit. Change up the recipe. I was on a pretty good bite like a week ago. I was getting pretty big holdovers, but they seem to have moved out. It's kind of these little guys now. And that's, that's definitely how it goes. Nice and warm out tonight. It's supposed to start raining in like an hour. Um, or I mean at, at 1 a.m. I think it's like 9 o'clock or something right now. I think the ferry stops running in about an hour. So there we go, fish on. They're really hitting in this one little area. This one feels bigger. Much bigger. The current's also running a lot stronger. No, this one's bigger. This is definitely a bigger fish. Might need to grab my glove. This one's actually really nice. Wow, we actually got a really nice one. That's a nice fish. Let's take a picture. It's like a solid 30 incher right there. Let him go. Look at that fat belly. Wow. That's a big holdover right there. All right, bud. Have fun. Well, that was sweet. But yeah, I cracked the uh, slammer. Let me show you probably show you I cracked it right there but I've only had it for a few months so I should be able to warranty it but that was a nice uh nice holdover right there that was like a uh, slot fish for sure another one wow I'm on them I'm really on them wow this is a decent one too Thought these were all small, but these are actually decent. These are decent. No, this one's small. The current's just starting to move. Ah, he's actually pretty big. I'll haul him up here. Oh. Try not to slam him around too much. Get him up here on this landing. They're definitely very active right now. Don't worry, bud. I'm not going to take a picture of you. I'm just going to unhook this purple this purple piece of plastic out of your mouth and then send you on your way hold over striped bass right there this guy's got a cool broken line on him a couple pretty cool broken lines Get those eyes he's moving that eye around at me really cool fish sorry for all the night footage but uh when you're on a bite, you know, you got to keep it going. Psyched you got one nice fish. Wow, I am really on him. That was the next cast. This is pretty good. Another one. This one's bigger. I know I should have a landing net, but these are schoolies. Once uh, once the year really starts getting moving, I'm going to start hitting up the bay and kind of stop doing this fishing anyways. Ugh. But yeah, if you're going to do this fishing, I would definitely have a buddy with you. And the landing that this is a decent one though. This one's probably yeah 26 inches. I want to guess. Pretty good night. Yeah, that guy's like 20, 26. Look at those eyes. So cool. Probably change this leader out. I feel like it's gonna break soon. Try and get one more fish. See if we can get him on the next cast been shutting the camera off in between the casts but 
Let's see if we can get one. One more. Yeah, they're on this one piling tonight. <sighs> Probably gonna change my leader out after this this next fish. Yeah, second cast. Wow. Gotta be careful with my leader. They're pretty big actually. This is a decent one. This one's pretty nice. Yeah, it's uh, two in a row right there. Nice, I got away without messing up my leader on this one. That's uh, two in a row, that's pretty good. Yeah, you really choked that, huh? You really choked that purple shad, my guy. Yeah, I'm just using straight purple tonight. Yeah, pretty good. I think that's uh, like eight fish or something in about a half an hour. So that's kind of why I'm just riding this bite out until it's over. Probably another week or so. The bay should be getting going and uh, I'll start getting skunked on the, the migrators. There we go, fish home. Wow, this is a nice one. This is a pretty nice one. Oh, he popped off, bummer. Yeah, let him get in the... Uh... Oh no, he popped out of his lip, bummer. Anytime you see a little uh, like residue of uh of a lip that means I uh, pulled the drag too hard it is what it is not even popping it I'm just doing a straight retrieve tonight and uh, wow the striper are right in front of me one just came up to the surface that was pretty cool they are right in front of me never seen I've seen them act like this in the summertime in the shallows uh, by the ocean, but I've never seen them do this before. They're like coming up to the surface and doing this little turn, almost like like spawning. But I know they're not spawning. None of them, none of the ones that I've felt have had like eggs. But yeah, see, one just did it right in front of me. It's pretty cool. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're feeding on shrimp or something. I don't know. Another one right in front of me. I don't know what they're doing. It's really cool looking though. It's like they're kind of ignoring my lure all of a sudden. I've seen them in the bays do their spawning thing and they'll kind of like leap in like this and this. It's, but the water's way too cold for them to spawn, so I don't know what they're doing. Go back to my original technique. Seems like that was working better. When I was casting at them doing their ballerina dance, they were not into it. So I'm gonna go back to what I was originally doing, the usual technique. See if that works. But yeah, they're a very mysterious fish. I've I've seen them do things that make me question that no one knows what they're talking about. I would love to know what they're feeding on because they're coming right up to the surface and doing this really cool like ballerina dance with each other it almost it looks like they're spawning but they're definitely not the water is not the right temperature for it and i can only get them to hit in one particular direction there goes the fairy like uh looks like megadon I swear when i come out here and do this fishing i feel like ash ketchum from pokemon these fish are being really cool tonight i'm really just enjoying watching them feed on whatever they're feeding on i feel like every time i go straight bass fishing i figure out something new with them and tonight you know whatever they're feeding on it's really really fascinating just watching them do their thing 
are almost like uninterested in my paddle tail all of a sudden but they're literally like they're right in front of me right now and any any time i just cast straight at them like even in, with them being right in front of me i don't they won't hit it it's like i have to do get the jig in a very particular area and that swing to get them to hit it they won't they're not uh they're being a little picky i would love to know what this bait is that's in the water because uh can see it kind of pinging on the surface and i i didn't think there was shrimp in here this time of year i mean i know there's grass shrimp in the bays but did it get flushed out i mean it's i don't know wow they are just being really cool right now doing this diving thing it's really cool looking there's one there's a fish. Glad I retied. Ooh, this one's decent. Turn the headlamp on so you can actually see. It's a pretty nice one. Ugh. Glad I retied. This is a pretty decent fish. Nice holdover striped bass. Get them back in the water as soon as possible. It's all catch and release. I swear they uh oh he doo dooed all over me. I swear they uh, they can hear that that ferry coming for sure. They're about to shut down for a minute, and then uh, as soon as that ferry goes away, they'll probably start biting again. As soon as that ferry goes away, they start biting again. But I'm a I'm a big believer that. Um, boat noise messes with fish like anytime i'm on my kayak and uh a boat motors around and i'm on a good bite the fish just disappear like even trolling motor noise um they get spooked but yeah as soon as the ferry comes over they just they turn off and then as soon as it leaves they turn back on again there's another bite um it's a lot of people there's a, there's a fish a lot of people don't don't believe in it but I definitely do I think that uh, I think that boat traffic messes with the fish for sure it's a nice fish definitely uh, 30 28 30 very heavy Wow yeah I think I got to get my glove for this one this is a glove fish for sure let's move him over here I don't want to break off a fish and leave a lure in his mouth, you know? So you really should be using a, a pier net with a buddy, but as a, uh, a backup, I've got, uh, I've got these utility gloves that I can use. Get him a little closer. I don't want him to break off the braid. This is a nice fish. And uh, I'm going to take my utility gloves here and pull up the braid. These are like uh, canvas rubber gloves. So what I'm going to do is get him, get my line up here. It's a nice fish because my rod's probably going to snap if I'm not careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this around this utility glove that I have. This is kind of my alternative to having a pier net. And then I can grab the leader. And yeah, there we go. That's a super nice fish. It's like a 30 inch plus fish. And then uh, you can see I've got my utility glove all wrapped up here, but that'll come out. Yeah, check out this fish. This is uh. Really, really nice striper.
nice fit, nice, uh, nice fight. Catch you later. It's definitely the nicest fish of the night. But yeah, because I don't have a, uh, you know, a buddy with me right now. You should really use a pier net and a buddy, but I've got these uh, utility gloves. So something pretty interesting about striped bass that I've noticed, um, especially with getting the big ones, is there's always this period when the fish will be really, really active. Like I was catching them one after the other earlier, and then uh, you saw that last good one that I got there, um, that, which was the biggest one of the night, came after the school rolled through. And it seems like they're starting to shut down now, but uh, I can feel that rain starting to come in. Um, but I always get them either before or after like the big school comes through, like the really active school. And I'm not sure if the big fish are like picking up the leftovers or how it works, but I've even noticed that when I film them underwater, those, uh, the big ones are always under the school. And for some reason, before the big, uh, like, schooly action will happen, and right after, those big ones, that's when I always get the big one. And I can tell the bite is starting to shut down now, and that's when I got the biggest one. And I definitely think it's worth it to sort of stick it out um, as long as you can. Even like, you know, I've I've stuck it out when I've been at jetties before when people will be catching one after the other and I can't get in and I can't get a spot and catch any. I'll wait it out because I know that as soon as that bite is over and everyone's tired, that's when I'm going to get the big one. And it, it always goes down like that. Oh, there goes the reel. See this? You kidding me? Just cracked it. It just cracked. It just cracked. Gosh, I gotta hand line this in. Dang. That's a bummer. It actually happened. Real cracked. Never seen that before. <sighs> but that's gear. I'm pretty hard on my gear, so, you know. It is what it is. Must have been like a bad weld or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but at least we got some fish and we got a pretty nice one too. It is what it is. Well, thanks for watching. That was a pretty good night of fishing, you know, aside from the Pen Slammer 4 exploding on me, but that's fishing, gear breaks, you know, you gotta go with the flow and uh, yeah, pretty good night of fishing. I think we got on at least 10 striped bass. Um, I'm going to head out. It's about to rain anyway. So, yeah, good night of fishing, and thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.